Today, news broke that the varsity boys head basketball coach for Mae Jemison is leaving the program after just two seasons. This afternoon, I had the opportunity to catch up with Coach Howard Pride and find out why he made this decision. Howard Pride is a familiar name in the Alabama basketball community. As a player, Pride won multiple awards, including 1993 Mr. Basketball and Class 6A Player of the Year. The crazy thing is Coach Dawson is about to come back into, um, he just got a job uh, down at Grissom. Uh, mm -hmm. He was my high school uh, head coach, and he coached me at Butler High School, uh, and Butler's no longer in existence. As a coach, Pride has been at both the high school and college level, but something he's loved the most about his recent time at May Jemison is his guy's ability to work. My first year I had seven seniors. All seven seniors graduated with their, with their diploma. And then this past year, we will have five seniors. So 12 for 12 as far as seniors that entered the program. Uh, getting their uh, high school diploma. During his time with the Jaguars, Coach Pride has helped turn the program around. Over the last two years, Jemison went 45-12 and 12 and are currently ranked fourth in the state. I've spent a lot of time pouring in, changing the culture, and, you know, I, I love, love those young men. But now it's time to move forward to another opportunity, one that feels a lot like home. Me having graduated, I, I played collegiate basketball at uh, Vanderbilt University, graduated from there. Uh, I've worked as assistant basketball coach at Tennessee State and Belmont University. So being familiar with the middle Tennessee uh, uh, area, um, it was something that my wife and I decided that, you know, if we got an opportunity to go back, it would be fine. It would be great. But we wanted the right opportunity. Now, aside from his basketball experience, Coach Pride actually is very skilled in other sports as well. Back in high school, he excelled in both football and baseball and even turned down the opportunity to play professionally after he was drafted by the Angels. Now, as far as his open position at May Jemison goes, the AD from Huntsville City School, Scott Stapler, tells me that they are accepting applications, but they are not considering any of those candidates just yet. Now, guys, don't go anywhere. I have much more sports coming up after the break.